What is going on guys, it's Seth Ward here and today I am back with another college football prediction video and this time I'm going to be talking about the number 9 ranked Tennessee Volunteers, probably going to change soon after Alabama lost yesterday, who are ranked, what, number 3 in the country, so they might move up. And then the Florida Gators are 1-1 one and, one, and they lost to Utah in the first game. That game was not pretty because a lot of Gator fans are not happy right now with Billy Napier and that team. Uh, so they they struggled, but they won uh, yesterday. And uh, so let's go go through the games. Uh, Tennessee though, Tennessee kind of struggled a little bit against Austin PV. Uh, I guess that's the name, right? Austin P State. Uh, something like that. I wish they would show, they show you the names. They don't show you anymore. But yeah, Austin P State. Uh, they lost. They all they kind of struggled against them early on, but then they won thirty to thirteen. Uh, they beat. Uh, Virginia, who is not good right now this year, they, they just lost to James Madison. Uh, but uh, Florida, they they beat McNe McNeese State pretty handedly, and of course uh, they lost to uh, Utah twenty four to eleven. But that game, uh, their offense did not do so well uh, against Utah, so they, they struggled a lot, and a lot of fans were kind of mad. Um, so they didn't actually get blown out, but yeah, they they're a little mad. So yeah. Um, uh, Florida fans are, are not really happy so far this year. It's just been kind of an up-and-down season. Uh, it's only been two games, but it feels like a roller coaster season right now for Florida, in my opinion. Uh, Joe Milton, who is the quarterback for Tennessee, has done exceptionally well in the past two games. Graham Mertz, so far, not bad as well, uh, but the first game was a little iffy, just trying to get uh, in the rhythm of things with the new offense because he is from Wisconsin, and, of course, Joe Milton's from uh, Michigan, but he transferred a year ago, so he already knows uh, Tennessee's offense offense because Hinton Hooker was the quarterback last year who's now in the NFL. All right, so uh, this game will be played at uh, Ben Hill Griffin Stadium, which is uh, on September 16th, which is this upcoming weekend, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern time, so it is a prime time game because this game is a rivalry game, and I believe that uh, Tennessee won last year, I think. Uh, let me see here. I think, yeah, Tennessee, I think, won last year. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that Tennessee did beat uh, Florida last year. I think it was like a close game, and then Tennessee just like went off or something like that. But I could be wrong on that game. So this is going to be a tough game, a tough environment for Tennessee because uh, uh, for the for Florida Gators, the Swamp, is a, a pretty uh, intense environment in my opinion. So uh, that'll be interesting. All right, so the match predictor, like I always go through every video, and it always uh, it has a match predictor, season leaders, and team stats, and I'll try to base it off of the team stats. Uh, the match predictor has Tennessee of a 54.3% over Florida's 45.7%. And uh, now we go to the season leaders. We have Joe Milton, the third, had uh, 42 completions to 60, 63 yards or 63 completion or attempts, 429 passing yards, four touchdowns. Graham Mertz, 45 completions to 61 attempts, 521 uh, passing yard, 526 passing yards. And two touchdowns and one interception. Uh, right for Tennessee, he's back with the team. I'm, I think he was there last year. They don't have a, a Jalen Wyatt so, uh, or Hyatt, so that's going to be a key guy lost left from last year. Uh, so he had 25 carries, 233 yards, and zero touchdowns. We have Johnson, Florida, 18 carries, 125 yards, and two touchdowns for rushing. All right, so we have K uh, Kayton from Tennessee. Had uh, eight receptions, 118 receiving yards, and one touchdown. And Pearsall is back with the team. I think he's like a fifth-year senior or something like that. But I think he's like this is like his last year. Uh, he had 14 receptions, 215 yards uh, receiving, and then one touchdown. So he's going to be the go-to guy for Graham Mertz. And uh, Caton is going to be the go-to guy for Milton. Okay, so lastly, the uh, team stats. We have t uh, total yards. We have Tennessee uh, averaged about 477.5 total yards in both two games. As well with Florida with 453.0 uh, yards passing, 220.0, uh, uh, and then of course Florida 283.0 yards rushing. Uh, Tennessee actually done really well with the yards rushing, mainly because of Joe Milton and um, for Wright as well. So I think that that two one punch combo is going to be pretty good for Tennessee. Uh, yards, yeah, yards rushing 257.5, and of course Florida 170.0. Still pretty good for rushing. For Florida as well, uh, yards allowed. So this is probably gonna be an issue for Tennessee, but um, they had 270.0 yards allowed, which is still good in my opinion under 300 yards total. And of course, uh, Florida 
191.0 of yards allowed. All right, and then passing yards allowed, we have 183 to 115 from Florida, uh, 0.5. Rushing yards allowed, we have 87.0, which is pretty good for Tennessee, and uh, which is really good for Florida, which is 75.5. So I think it's going to be like a low-scoring game. It's going to be like a run, like a run and pound type game, in my opinion. Probably going to be like the like the uh, like low, like maybe like a 28 to like or 34 to like 28 something like that. But uh, honestly, I think that Tennessee, in my opinion, this is who I'm, I'm going to go with. I think that in my prediction, uh, I think that Tennessee, uh, even with the stats, I think their passing game is a little better than uh, Florida's, even though Graham Mertz has more passing yards. But I still think that like Joe Milton is a lot better quarterback than Graham, Graham Mertz. Uh, I think that like Tennessee's defense might be a little better than Florida because Florida lost to a backup quarterback week one. Uh, so, yeah, that was not – great in their showing so i think that tennessee is going to go on the road to beat florida by minus seven points uh so they may be the favorite uh, either way but I, I think in my opinion that they're going to win by seven points so if you have a comment if you have a opinion on this game please comment down below who do you think is going to win this game if you're a florida fan please comment down below as well as a tennessee fan uh this this video is uh, specifically for the fans who just to want to comment and to say Who's gonna win? And you have an opinion? Uh, just and you guys just want to argue back and forth. That's what that's what this video is for. So yeah, all right guys, Seth Forty Two here. Hope y'all enjoy. And uh, yeah, uh, more videos on the way. I think I'm gonna do a double upload today. And so yeah, see you guys next time. Peace out.